a very funny homegrown comic who's been touring throughout the Midwest. He's a, he is the host of the Wiener Camps. Please put your hands together for comedian Wiener! Marcos is talking about hip hop and he's holding some fucking mic like he's a rocking Gene, or not Gene Simmons, but Steven Tyler from Aerosmith. He's trying to compensate for something. Kidding. I only roast Marcos for fun. That's not my material. <laughs> Cause I was riding around with my buddy T and uh, we, were, we were listening to a bunch of hip hop he was trying to put me on to. But like, he's got the unpaid for version of Spotify, so you have to hear an ad. Sometimes an ad will drop like during a song, you know? Like, but there was this funniest ad that popped up. It was a cocaine ad. They weren't trying to sell cocaine, they were trying to get people off of cocaine, like, which already made me disappointed. Um, this first person comes up, he's all like, yeah, I did cocaine. And it ruined my life. I was all like, yeah, I could probably see that. I mean, cocaine's fun and all, but like, and if you just have that type of personality, you're addicted to whatever you fucking do. Yeah, like pretty much anything will ruin your life at that point. Um, people, people quit drugs to start gambling. I'm like, that's even worse. <laughs> gambling with your life is more fun than gambling with your money. Um, <laughs> This gentleman agreed. He's like, yes, for sure. Then, that, then the next person is all like, I sold all my belongings just to buy another gram of cocaine. It's not that expensive. It's not. It's not that. You don't have to sell your whole fucking china cabinet and your vintage armoire to buy a gram of cocaine. You know what? I'm not going to tell you how much it costs. I'm going to tell you that it's not that much money. <laughs> Next person, like, I lost my whole family, I lost my job, I'm like, this one actually makes sense, right? Right, you know, you, you, you marry someone, or you have kids with someone, and you tell them, like, yeah, yeah, I don't do drugs, and then they find the shit in your expensive armoire that you're about to sell for your next gram, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, like, I, I can see that. You're, you, go, you show up to work and you're on like, like can, whatever, they're like, yeah, I don't think you should come back tomorrow. <laughs> or ever. Makes sense. And I was like, dude, this is the funny, I'm talking to my buddy now, I was like, this is the funniest commercial ever. He's all like, this is actually an old Ronald Reagan commercial. I was like, what? He's like, yeah, Ronald Reagan. And I was all like, the dude who brought crack and cocaine into the streets? This motherfucker is trying to get you off of it now? He's not like, yeah, he not only brought crack and cocaine to the streets, but he brought AIDS too. And I'm like, I bet the next commercial is going to be an AIDS commercial then. Like, ugh. That's crazy. Presidents are crazy. Um, our, our former president, uh, not, not our current president, who probably should have been our former president by now, because he doesn't seem like he's about to croak at any minute. Um, no, this, our, our former president, uh, number 45, we don't like call him by his name, really. He just deserves a number. I'm going to get to that later. Um, he teamed up, like during his presidency, he teamed up with Kanye West to make a rap album, right? And like, cause they were like best friends at the time. And it was, it was super fun, super like, I thought it was going to be like the dream project I've always been waiting for my entire life. It's like the title, the title was called The War Machine. And I was like, oh shit, dude, this is teamed up with Kanye West, made all the beats. And uh, Donald Trump, he chose the best rap name ever for this title called The War Machine. It's like a, this motherfucking. Don Cheeto. And if I have to explain that joke further, I will. But you're not nerdy enough to get it if I have to. And I don't already I already don't want to talk to you. Um, but then 
but then the album ended up being in post, or not post-production, but it just stayed in pre-production because Kanye West went out of his way to become crazy. I mean, he was always crazy. And one of his lyrics was like, what kind of genius ain't crazy or some dumb shit like that? And there's a lot of them. A lot of them weren't crazy. I can't name any off the top of my head, but I can, I can guarantee you, a lot of geniuses aren't crazy. We just don't hear about them because they're not doing crazy shit. Um, anyway, Trump went on to do a press conference about this, about like the, his denouncing of Kanye West. And he's like, I don't know what an anti-Semitist is, but I hear that it's wrong, and I do not condone Kanye West and his behavior. And like, like, because he doesn't understand things, that's why he just gets reverted to nothing as a number, just like the people he doesn't understand what anti-Semitism is about. I don't know, I, 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 I word that wrong as hell, but that's my fucking time. I worded that really wrong. That's all I got for you tonight. Have a good evening. Here we go, we're here, everyone. Yeah, wait, he worded that joke. I don't think he knows what 